Hello everybody, it is All Saints Sunday and I was thinking about all the saints in my life and I asked my mom if she would join me and we could look through some pictures together and think about the people in our life who have already left to be with God but have still made a mark in our lives and shown us a little more about who God is. And so we have some special pictures here that we found and thought we could just share them with you. Where should I start? Oh. Quite a few. Let's start. Actually, this is the oldest one. This is my very first photo album. My Papa Jim gave it to me. He loved taking pictures and he helped me fill it with pictures. And it's kind of fun. It's falling apart. And it's so old, I can't take pictures out of it because they're all stuck. We should say who Papa Jim is. Papa Jim mm -hmm. is my mom's dad. Yeah. <laughs> Your grandpa. My grandpa. So, um, I want to share with you a couple pictures here of my great-grandma, who is my mom's no, grandma. No, 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 no. What's her name again? We call her Gigi for great-grandma. There she her is. Her name is Eva, though. And there she is right there. Another, a better picture of her, maybe. What's her? She liked to wear those hats, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. She was always very stylish, from what I remember. And I did get to meet her a few times. She was 99, right? Ooh, I don't remember. I feel like she was 99 years old. She mm -hmm. lived a long, happy life. And even from these pictures, you can probably see she had a lot of love with her family. So I'm glad I got to meet her a few times when I was young and see her smile in these pictures and remember how much she loved her family. So okay. where else do you want to share? Okay. What's something, what are you well, talking? let's see. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Let's show my, my dad. Um, this is my dad. We call that's Papa Jim that she's talking about. And here's another one of him with his wife, so my. Jim and Ramona, when they were married. And this the probably, gosh, I forget what year that would be. Right before World War II. Um, anyway, they are have a very special place in my heart. And they made um their generous hearts and love really made me who I am today. And I like this picture. This is a later picture of me with my grandma, my mom's mom. Mm -hmm. So not quite as young as that pretty picture <laughs> from their wedding. But I like this picture a lot too because it reminds me of um, just the whole life we had together. She was always my favorite person to visit. She'd be the first person I'd see at the house and she'd run and give me a hug. And well, she took you shopping. And she always took me shopping. <laughs> always buy you clothes. Yeah. She understood how important that was. But also, she taught me about rest. And she and Papa Jim would pray together and go to church together. And I kind of hijacked this, but Papa Jim also, he was really good about having daily devotions. Did it just for sure at night before he went to bed. Actually, they would read them together, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. um, and maybe even and in the morning. I don't know. But they were really good at that at every single night together. And then when we'd visit, he'd always invite me to share with them, to share the devotion time with them. So that was a really good example for me. Here's something. So I think I've talked about this pretty freely, but my dad died about three years ago. And so I'm always very aware of his presence in my life still, but also very aware of all the things he taught me growing up. And here's a picture my mom had of him in her room. I really like it. Him at the beach with some coffee, his enjoying favorite the, his mm -hmm. favorite place, mm -hmm. and I like, he has a really good smile, look at that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I love that picture, and as I was looking through pictures, I found this, and if you look in my office, you might notice I have a lot of pictures like this with the sunshine streaming through mm -hmm. the clouds, and he wrote, remember your sermon, God is everywhere with us all the time, God knows us to the very core of our being. So, my first sermon I ever wrote, I talked about these beams from heaven and connecting them to God and my dad really loved that and so he loved it so much he made this for me. Mm -hmm. So that was neat to find that again and remember. Oh, and he was like my number one supporter cheerleader besides mm -hmm. my mom. So I love that yeah. it even shows up here and I'm still feeling his love mm -hmm. and support. <laughs> me too. He always, his last word to anybody was always I love you. He always made sure that was what you'd hear from him. And here's another picture of him when he's younger, and another friend of ours, Dave, who's also passed away, but right here, this, this is Chuck, and here's David, he is another pastor, and anyway, they're they so full of joy and music, 
and um, sharing their love with other people and their ministries. So that's a good and reminder also, that yeah. it's not when we, on All Saints Sunday we're not just remembering people from our family, but we're remembering people who from our family in Christ, our family in the body of Christ, the family of God. And we're remembering all the people who have impacted our lives and taught us about living out our gifts and sharing God's love with the world. And since it's out here, I don't want to forget my dad's parents, my papa George, and my grandma Kay. I never got to meet my grandma Kay, but I did grow up my whole life hearing how I was just like her. So mm -hmm. I'm sure when I meet her, it's going to be like we know each other already. Um, but yeah, yeah, my papa George got to live with us for a while. And... These are all just really important people in our lives. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have at least one day a year to really think about all these people, celebrate their lives, maybe get a little sad, and that's okay too. But it's nice to do this together. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing this, even though you get yeah. shy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we It's really meaningful to go over your pictures together with someone. So I hope that you'll do that today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like go with your mom or dad or your grandma and grandpa, look through some pictures together hear stories, remember all the good things about these people, even if they're not living with us anymore, and then maybe take a minute to list five people who are living now who are impacting your life and sharing with you all about God's love, sharing you how to be the best you you can be, and, and celebrate that too, because that's what All Saints Day is all about too. Mm -hmm. So have a great day. I'll see you mm -hmm. next week.